G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this edition. Now, when we create our Microsoft Loop components in a Teams chat, in a Word document, or in the body of an email, they get stored in a special folder inside of your OneDrive for Business. Now, what happens if we move those Loop component files out of our OneDrive for Business and then into a different location? So Loop components are actually just another form of Office file. It's a .loop file, uh, and we can actually move them around into different locations. So a lot of questions coming around, can we move our loop components out of a OneDrive for Business into a SharePoint site, into a document library? Well, yes, you can, but there are some impacts and some things that you need to know uh, when you actually do that. So that's what we're going to tackle in today's edition. So let's get started now, and I'm logged in as Megan, and let's go through and we'll create a new loop component uh, in a conversation inside of Teams, and you can see that I'm with Adele here. So let's put in a, just a, a simple paragraph loop component here. We'll add a title. Um, let's go, Just let's just call this our loop component. And we will send this off, all right? So let's start this loop component. We'll send it to Adele. And now we've got this loop component that has now been uh, created. Now that gets stored and let's just go back over where these are stored. So inside of my files, because we're in the context of Microsoft Teams and a Teams chat, these are stored in our Microsoft Teams chat files folder. Okay, and you can see there, there is the component that I have just created, our loop component dot loop. Now that's a particular file. Now the same thing happens if we are in Outlook. All right, so let's just jump into Outlook and then we'll fire up a new email and then we'll insert a new loop component into the body of an email as well, all right? So we'll fire up a new uh, email, we'll start a new email uh, to Adele as well and then we'll just pop in a new loop component. So we'll wait for that to start up, here we go, and we'll pop in Adele's name and then we'll insert that loop component. So we'll click in the body of the email, we'll go up to the loop um, uh, drop down list here. And again, let's just put in maybe a voting table. All right, so we'll pop in a voting table inside of this email and let's call this let's vote. All right, and we'll pop in the subject, let's vote. And what we'll do is we'll now send that to Adele. All right, so again, what we're doing here is creating a loop component. It is just a file, okay? And then we're sending that. And again, that is going to create a file in OneDrive for Business, but not in that Microsoft Teams chat files location. So if I we'll pop back into my files, what we'll see here inside of attachments, because we're in the context of um, Microsoft Outlook, that loop file or that loop component is going to end up in that particular file. So there it is there, all right? So we've got now a loop component in the attachments folder and another loop component in the Microsoft Teams chat files folder. Same thing happens with Word, okay? So if I pop back into my files, we've got a folder in here that says Word loop file. So when we insert it inside of Word, that component will appear in there. Now, when we, now the, the, the advantage of, of uh, loop components is that we can move these and embed these around into different locations. So for example, that uh, loop component that we inserted into the body of an email, we can copy that and then insert that into a Word document or we can insert that into a group chat. All right, or a one-to-one -one chat. So I'm gonna copy this component and I'm gonna pop back to our chat uh, with Adele and what I can do is I can paste that into a new chat and then I can set and, and we can insert and embed that component into that chat. Now the same thing we can do with, um, with a Word document. So we'll fire up a Word document and we can paste it and, and we've got that component inside of there. Now, what happens when we move that location of that loop component. So let's pop back into my files and let's start with our uh, component that we inserted into our email. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select the three little dots because again, it's just like a, a file. I'll go move to, I'm presented with our, our dialogue box to browse different locations. And I'm going to pop into this SharePoint site and I've got an invoices library here. 
let's move that into here. Now, you'll also notice that we can keep sharing with the same people if we want to, and then we'll move that, uh, that loop component file into that location. So it's moving top right hand corner, we can see it whirring away there, and it has now moved, all right? So it's gonna disappear out of our attachments folder, and it's going to now appear in that document library called invoices, and there it is there. Now, what happens to that loop component that is sitting in the body of the email? Because remembering we sent that across to Adele. So let me bring Adele's um, email up, up over here. Now you can see the message that we get when we look at that email. You can see that the component isn't available and it's been moved or deleted. So the endpoint where that component has been uh, added to, so it's been copied, it's been added maybe to a Teams chat or uh, a Word document or something like that, then those, uh, those initial places where it has been inserted will then become um, unavailable or the component will become unavailable and you, we, we won't be able to see that. All right, so while you can move loop components around, those individual dot loop files out of your OneDrive for Business, out of those special folders, and you can move them into SharePoint uh, document libraries, you just need to be aware of the impact of when you actually do that, okay? So I hope that brings you some value today. Move, while moving loop components, yes you can, but just be aware of the impact that that has. See you in the next episode.